everyone. This is my DIY farmhouse clock or old clock that I'm together. So let's get started. And using now the first thing is to sand, to sand the surface and then we're going to cut out the edge of the uh, platter. And if I didn't mention this is a Dollar Tree uh, platter, I'm going to move that, remove that edge and start sanding. And make sure that you sand the complete surface and also on the edge that you see there. So you're going to sand the whole surface all over. And after sanding, now is the cleanup. You want to make sure you clean the whole platter and make sure there's nothing left before you start painting. The reason for sanding the area before you start painting is so that the paint can adhere to the platter much easier and smoother. You want to make sure that you cover the whole surface. When brushing on the paint, you don't have to be too detailed with it. You just want to give it a white wash look, and that's what we're going for for right now. You really want to have fun with this. Just be loose with it and let the paint flow. Now, before we go to the next step, you want to look for old clocks on Pinterest or online. And this is your finished look. This is our first look, the whitewash look. If you like this, you can skip ahead and it's time to put the clock together as far as the face of the clock. Now for the second look is add more details. Using brown chalk, you can add lines and add more details. Now you want to start blending your lines. And if you like this look, you can stop here. With gray paint that I picked up at Lowe's, we can add even more detail to the clock. In Lowe's, they have a section where you can pick up paint that's been pre-mixed, but then no one took it or they decided to blend the right color, and you can pick it up a little as nothing. This costs just a dollar.
and you can see what I'm trying to do is give it a more woodsy grainy look like the grains going in wood so um, that's why I'm using this mixed media to give me just that look I need now you see me actually making this look more like old wood along with a whitewash so you see me trying to separate to get the look that I need to make this another look that you can use. Remember, I haven't changed anything. I'm still using chalk, pencil, paint. Now I'm really just putting more detail to this and making it look more like a wood grain. But remember, this is the look that I'm looking for. You may not like this look and want to use the other two looks before you get to this. So if you're still watching me add details to this, I really love what I'm seeing here. What do you think? Tell me which one you like. So have fun with it and make it your own. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and watch my other DIYs and home decor. Okay, from this $1 platter to, to this. And this. So which one do you like? Please comment below and let me know. And thank you for watching. Don't miss out on my other DIYs and more to come. And remember, it's free to subscribe and to share. Thank you.